All right, guys, we continue our project. So uh, this video, we're gonna create the uh, resume component and we're gonna route. Uh, for the routing, we're gonna use the React Router DOM uh, package, all right? And so let's start it. And before we start, let me change a little bit. I wanna change the opacity of the circles. Uh, to do that, let me open in components index and in a particles canva class i'm gonna add the uh, opacity i want to add uh, zero point arrow let's do zero three okay so let's see all right i like it better so let's continue guys let's build the resume component in components folder let me create new file resume.js and it's gonna be functional rfc all right and let me add the text for now hello from resume component all right so now let's uh, import uh, in our index yeah let's import it here so uh, oh actually actually we're gonna route so let's import right here in the app okay import uh, resume uh, from uh, components and it's gonna be resume all right so uh, now let's install the reactor out to dump package so to do that npm i it's short for install and react uh, router dump All right, so let's close it up and uh, let's go to the index.js and in here let's import, uh, import, uh, we're gonna import the browser uh, router as uh, router you know you can call it whatever you like but usually all the programmers they call it router and from uh, let's react router DOM all right now we need to wrap our app our component with the router nothing new as usual let me cut Put it on here, save, and that's it with the index. Let's import uh, React Router. We're gonna import route, route uh, from uh, React Router DOM. Now let's delete the home component because we're gonna route to the home component. So let's add route and the path going to be uh, it's gonna be the by default uh, gonna be local host 3000 all right uh, and the component we're gonna add the home let's close this component out and let's copy and paste and now we're gonna add the um, uh, resume in here instead of home and right here we're gonna create the path at resume okay let's add here exact let's save for now let's close the app i think we're done here we'll see and let's go to the index let's save it uh, let's close index let's Open now bar. Uh, so let's import the link. Uh, it's a 
from React Router DOM. React Router DOM. Uh, and we're gonna use it later. Now let's create the path because we're gonna, you remember guys, we're mapping here. Uh, where's our mapping? Right here. Menu items and we map the icons and we map the uh, text. Let me open. So, okay, you remember we map the icons, we map the text for the link text, and now uh, we want to add the path. So, how we're gonna do it? We're gonna do by mapping also same like a text, but we're gonna create the list, we're gonna name it path list path and for the home I have the forward slash all right so and for the resume we're gonna add the resume all right okay and in here we need to find the button where's our button right here so so we need to add the component that's gonna be link and the path it's gonna be two and ls item dot and the list path all right so that's uh should be work uh, let's check guys so reload here is a typo component let's save let's see all right so let's open let's okay so we're out to the resume here's a resume path and here's a resume component so let's work on the resume component all right, so let's close the nav bar. We don't need it. And let's import some dependency, like we're gonna import for the styling because we're gonna style here a lot. Uh, make styles from, let's uh, material, UI, car, and uh, styles. All right. Now we need the components like uh, typography, typography, and box. Oh, uppercase box, and it's from Material UI Core. And uh, let's import the nav bar. Import. Uh, Nav bar, um, it's in the same directory. Okay, and let's add the nav bar. Let's delete this. So it's gonna be nav bar. All right, and actually, you know, let's let's wrap with a fragment, and we're gonna add the text again. So here's a Rag fragment and let's add the h2 text uh, resume component all right so let's see if everything good yep good if we go to the home component all right everything routing working good all right let's continue and we're gonna start uh, Let's do the box, which is gonna be a component. I'm uh, gonna let's do header or or div. It doesn't matter, guys. So um, all right, that's for now. And let's add the typography, which is gonna be in the variant. I want to use H4 and I want to say align uh, uh, center working 
experience. Let's see if it's working. Okay. Let's continue. Let's add after the typography main heading. Uh, I want to use the box again. Box and component. I want to use the diff. And let's add the typography again. And variant. I'm gonna use the H2. That's gonna be 2013. All right. Let me see. All right. Okay. So now let's style it, and we're gonna guys style everything in here uh, with the material UI. Also, we're gonna uh, give the breakpoints for the white screen, uh, medium screen, small, extra small. Everything we're gonna do in here with the Material UI. You'll see how you can use it. It's very powerful and nice. All right, so to start, we need to create a variable. Const, uh, I'm gonna name it use styles equal and we remake uh, styles that's gonna be the object and first class we're gonna name it uh, main container all right and the background i want to be count two three three all right so let's see we don't see it of course because we need to guys create one more variable which we're gonna call classes and i'm gonna add the use styles in here all right and now we need a Add the class name in here class uh, name that's gonna be our main container and main container right here so let's save now it should be work yep we can see the background all right so let's continue now we need to add the timeline so we're gonna add the the stroke right here line in the middle all right and we're gonna add the uh, Class, we're gonna name the class time uh, line and uh, let's give the position that's gonna be the relative and padding let's add run ram and margin let's add zero and right and left out all right so now let's use the pseudo element to do that in the quotes uh, Ampersand and and uh, I'm gonna say before it's kind of similar like in a components uh, styled components uh, so and content I'm gonna use empty but we need to add single quotes in here guys because it's not gonna work if we're just gonna add the on the double quotes we need to add uh, the single quotes or just i know you, you can add this way like singles and doubles inside all right but i'm gonna do doubles and singles inside and position we're gonna add the absolute and let me add the height 100% and border I'm gonna add one pixel it's enough and solid and the color the TAN 10 and right uh, let's do four pixels and on the top let's do zero and let's do after it's the same percent after content singles inside and display table and clear I'm gonna add both all right so let's see guys what we what we just build with the CSS 
and guys it's not working of course because we need to add the timeline in here this div gonna be the class uh, name uh, it's gonna be classes and timeline all right let's save let's see it's right here it's supposed to be right here and now let's add the breakpoints guys for the middle screen and how we add uh, and first of all we need to add the parameter theme right here we need to wrap with the brackets braces brackets or how it's how it's called doesn't matter all right parentheses parentheses yeah that's called parentheses and let's do like theme that uh, break points that up and in the quotes md for the middle screen and we want to add the padding um, to ram and we're gonna add the before before so the element we want to add the left and we want to calculate calc we need a 50 percent minus one pixel let's close and uh, right we want to add the outer all right so let's save let's go back boom it's on the middle and when it's uh, less than let me see what the middle size of the screen uh as 960 i guess 960 yeah 